July the 11th. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you do the roll call, please? Ms. Gray? Here. Mr. Moore? Here. Ms. Reclue? Present. Mr. Shiverdecker? Here. Mr. Stone? Present. Mr. Vaughn? Present. Mr. West? Here. And Mr. Shilin? Present. Eight council members present. Very good, thank you. If you'd rise with me, uh, Pastor Bruce Williamson is with us this evening and he'll lead us in the invocation. Thank you again, Pastor. Yes, sir. I want to keep for things first tonight and give a moment of silence and honor to the lives of 15 Marines and Navy. a Navy corpsman that were killed yesterday in the Mississippi Delta. One of those is a grandson of a local family. A moment of silence. Heavenly Father, we're here tonight to collectively and jointly do the people's business in our fair city. But we are somewhat saddened and we share our nation's loss tonight. These men that perished were moving forward protecting this nation and our interest and in the diligence of their duty on our behalf. Their lives were cut off extremely too early. For their families, for their comrades, for this country of whom we're proud, we remember tonight and through you, we lament and we grieve their precious loss. We continue to pray, Lord, and thank you for the community that we live in and those that day by day, even in the heat of July, are on our streets doing the people's work. I pray for all who serve this city at every level of service. And I pray, Lord, for their protection and their health and welfare during this extreme July, very normal heat time. I pray for our police officers and firefighters and first responders who can be summoned in a moment's notice, Lord, to meet the needs of those that are at peril. I pray for those that are connected to the city family. My list is certainly not exhaustive, but I do remember Gabriel Polston and his family, Mr. and Mrs. Reclue, Mr. Childland, Mr. Moore, Chief Myers, Mayor Benton, and all other city-connected servants who need your touch. I ask your blessings on this session tonight and those that will participate, discussions that will be held, and decisions ultimately that may be made. I pray that they're in keeping with your providence and will. Accept our gratitude and thanks for the life that we're able to live every day. And through your love, help us always to encourage and love one another. We pray this together in Christ's name. Amen. 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 At the beginning of our council meeting, we set a time aside for uh, members of the community who have an issue they would like to share with the council and to come forward and do that we just ask that you give us your name and your address and limit your comments to uh no longer than five minutes uh of which that time will be uh, uh monitored by the uh, city clerk again uh so at this time i invite anyone that's present who'd like to address the city council to please come forward <coughs> mr beaver good to see you sir I don't consider David Beaver a visitor. Uh, first, I want to thank everybody on the council and the, the mayor and the director for the assistance we get every year for the parade. I came down here seven years ago, I guess, and got after Leroy a little bit about not having anything on our country's birthday. And he returned a favor by telling me to do something about it. So. <laughs> But uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of work, but I think 
the city and the county have received it well. It's getting bigger every year. Hopefully a few years down the road, I won't be worried at four o'clock in the morning on the fourth, whether anybody's gonna show up or not. Maybe it'll become routine. But I'd really like to thank police chief and fire chief for their help in connecting with all the other law enforcement and fire groups in the county. Uh, Clay helped us out with a loan of a few golf carts to make where I didn't have to walk quite so far all the time. But it's just, uh, for the community, I think it's a good deal, but I really appreciate it becomes a lot easier with the cooperation of the city and, and all the different departments in the city. And uh, if you got any suggestions to how we might make it a little better or something, just give me a call. I'll uh, be more than happy to, to listen. The other reason I'm here, I passed out those car show flyers there's a group of us gonna put on a car show. We kind of listened to the Brick District and they wanted to try to draw something downtown. Uh, to give you a little background on it, we're not gonna charge for the participants. We're gonna ask for a donation, but there will be no fees involved. And then whatever money is raised, because the group at the car show have no benefit out of this, we're gonna make a donation to serve a food pantry in the name of the Brick District. But uh, we just, it'll, it'll go on for a good portion of the day. We're gonna start having cars show up at about 11. We'll, the, the show itself will be done about three or 3.30, but then the uh, Callaway Cruisers, a group of men and women from the county and city that have old cars, they have a cruise in once a month and they move it to different locations. Well, they're gonna be there and they start about three. So it'll go from one thing to the other. So they'll be collectible, new, collectible, old, hot rods, whatever, on, uh, on court with your permission from 5th to 7th. From about 11 o'clock August 5th till about 7 o'clock August 5th. I've already talked to Mr. Johnson about it and the police chief and we just need you all to say yes we can block the street off. So it'll be from the north edge of Fifth Street to where Fifth will stay open. Once the once the farmers market closes, Fifth Street will be open and it'll be on the south edge of the Seventh Street intersection. So Seventh Street will be open. So the only cross street where we'll be blocking is uh, is sixth and we may not depending on how it works we may not have to do that even but we'd need to block court on both ends well i recommend approval for david's yeah. so talk that. louder i'm old wayne <laughs> i can't hear very good i said i, I recommend approval second. I second. Uh, we're we're looking at <laughs> as far as number of cars there's there's a it's, a, it's an open car show to any, any brand, anything, we don't care. But there's a club of people organized 20 years ago that own Fairlanes and Torinos. And it's, a, it's what they call a mini meet of that national group. Uh, we've got about 20 of them committed and they're coming as far away as Indianapolis, Indiana. Wow. So they're gonna be here a couple of days. Cool. And we've got some out in Kansas and that I'm a member of that. Uh, we're getting a little publicity in that once every two months you get, a, if you're a member of that club, you get a magazine. And it's been in the magazine since January good. that this would be here. So we, we've had some good response there. And we're, I don't know if you're aware, there's a, what, what everyone is calling a cruise in. There's a cruise in every Saturday somewhere either Jefferson City, Columbia, Fulton, or Mexico. They've all got it on a different week, so it rotates around. And I've been going to them passing out these, these flyers, and so I think we'll probably have 100 cars, maybe more. Uh, Great. The idea is to 45 degree angle park on both sides of the street, and if that's not enough room, then we'll maybe run one row down the middle yep. on court. 
and but, with uh, that, it should bring it time. should bring some uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's a little bit of tourism and a little bit of thank you and and some enjoyment for some of the people and David? some of the restaurants yeah. in the brick district ought to be able to have a little food. before we go on and, and make a because we have a motion on the floor to approve your issue in a second so before we do that but let me extend my personal thanks to you for your leadership on the parade mm -hmm. and I think yeah. that you can feel real good about all the and recognize how the community is recognizing your efforts as they stand there on on most hot July 4th and watching well Tom Oppen and I've had your, this year yourself. more so than others I we had yeah. a lot of phone calls thanking yeah. us and that and yeah. uh, that's great yeah and we we definitely i had a long day i started at four o'clock on tuesday morning and yeah. then i went on the honor flight at midnight oh, mercy. oh that's yeah. right and then when i got back so i was up about 45 hours but yeah. the the, the two for things you. were well worth missing a little sleep <laughs> okay. but anyway uh that's that's all yeah. I, but again thank you for you all for the for the cooperation as a as a city entity uh, the parade goes by a lot smoother, and uh, I keep checking with the police chief to make sure we're not yeah. messing his traffic pattern up. And I think I job. think we're in the easy. We've got it pretty easy now, so it doesn't hold up the city operation too much. Okay, yeah. very good. We'll thank act you. on your request here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have a motion and, and a second to approve. Uh, Mr. Beaver's car show. Point of uh, discussion. Yeah. Yes. Do we owe the tenants? Do we need to do anything, any notification to the tenants of the apartments on court <coughs> to notify them of this? When they close it down, I mean, I don't think it'd be any difference for the rest of it. So. Okay. The uh, question was of tenants. Uh, uh, Councilman Sloan's worried about notifying the tenants that we're closing down Court Street. That's done in normal course, right? When we close the street. Yeah. Uh, typically, because of the brick district is sponsoring it, they typically tell their people that uh, okay. what, what activities they're going to yeah. be that, going on. The only issue we may have is the drugstore. Uh, <coughs> So they can use their drive through. Okay. I was thinking of the residential town. Who would have done that one? Right. In the apartment. Oh, no, we don't worry about that. We can leave a lane out on their drive through. We can get them to sit straight and drive out. Whatever we need to do. Mr. Mayor. Yeah, I think the brick district's working with you on this. And they'll, they, yeah. Okay. Everyone's kind of pushing us. Good. Yeah. So and they'll they'll get all the information out to all those private residents. Sure and uh, Kyle's group will set barricades out the day before. Um, Mr. Beaver's group will then the day of the event set the barricades into the into the driving lanes, and when at the end of their event they will pick up the barricades and once again place them along the curb or along the along the buildings. And Monday morning, Kyle's guys go by and pick them up. It's it's pr pretty good system. Okay. Mr. Mayor. Sir. Oh, uh, from my opinion only, I, you know, we don't forewarn them when there's court or people going down shopping, and that's why we have rental spaces. If you're worried about a parking space, go rent one from the city, and you always have your spot. Sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's just normal course of business. Okay, very good. Uh, got a motion on the floor and a second. Uh, if there's not any further discussion, I'll call for the question. All those in favor of the motion, please signify saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Very good. You have your <laughs> authorization. You. Thank, Thank you, Thank you, Mr. Beaver. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> At this point, I need to amend the agenda. Uh, under new business, I'd like to add an item B, and that would be a decision on the discussion that we had uh, during the work session on the hangars, and we'll ask for a decision on that. I move that we add uh, new business item B to discuss the uh, situation with the hangars second. at the airport. Very good, thank you. I have a motion and a second. Uh, all those in favor of amending the agenda, please signify saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. All righty, thank you. 
We'll now move on to the consent agenda. And under that agenda, we have three items. Uh, they're all reappointments of uh, individuals to their various board. We have two of the park board, Chris Garrett and Jane Hall, and one individual, Whit McCroskey, to the personnel board. Uh, is there any item on that consent agenda that needs to be taken off? There is nobody opposed. I move we adopt the consent agenda as is this evening. Second. Very good. Thank you. I have a motion second to adopt the consent agenda. Um, <coughs> all those in favor of, of approving it or uh, adopting that, please approving uh, that, please signify saying yes. Yes. <laughs> all those opposed, no. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now move on to unfinished business. Looks like we've had maybe some changes in the smart grid or some updates on that. Who wants to do that? Daryl or Kathy? Yeah. Great. Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> yeah, jumped right up there. They drug me up here kicking and screaming. Short straw. That's why I say nobody wants to do it. No. <laughs> but I'll take one for the team. There you go. The last couple weeks have been um, typical of our whole experience with smart grid highs followed by lows followed by high but late this afternoon you know we've decided to try and pull the reads directly from Tantalus and after speaking with various sources and getting all kinds of tips that no one had ever bothered to tell us about four o'clock this afternoon I was able to pull route 60 in using a new method um, there, there's about 314 meters in total on that route. I had 10 unread meters, predominantly gas and water, and I think I had 23 or 24 misread meters. The bulk of the misread meters were the large commercial gas meters, which is a problem that we are aware of and we recognize and think we have a solution for. So at this moment in time, I'm not going to say anything about tomorrow, <laughs> at this moment in time, it looks hopeful. So. Thank you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Exactly. Good news. Thank you. <laughs> That's good news. Okay. Good news. That yeah, is. <clears throat> Perseverance, correct? Okay. We'll move on. Uh, Four Street Project and also a Highway uh, Business 54 Roadway uh, update. Kyle, you want to tell us where we stand on those two projects? Yeah, we'll go with the 4th Street project first. Um, we received preliminary plans from Cochran uh, Engineering Firm that's uh, working on those plans for us. And uh, we've made some comments to them. Uh, they are going to take those comments and rework the plans a little bit uh, to accommodate some items that we saw and uh, then we'll get those submitted to MoDOT. MoDOT uh, will then review them if they got any comments uh, uh, then Cochran will address them and then they'll start working on a uh, final set of plans. So we're moving along on that front. Um, on uh, Business 54, uh, this is an in-house engineer job so uh, kind of backing up just a little bit, four streets 1,600 foot about, uh, business 54 is about a mile, so, um, you know, three to four times uh, longer, and, and uh, Steve Goring's heading up this job for us and, and doing a great job. Uh, you know, if, if we had to hire this out, uh, you're talking quite a bit of money. These, this costs an engineering, it's gonna end up costing us about $90,000, so, you know, multiply that by three to four times, and, and uh, Steve and, and with some help with uh, Richard and the engineering department are uh, kicking butt on it and doing pretty good. So uh, they're, uh, they're, Steve started uh, down by Ovid Bell and uh, he's working his way uh, towards City Hall. So uh, right now he's at about St. Louis. Um, so uh, that'll be his first stab at it. We'll take a look at it. Um, I'll get more involved once he's, once he's through and, and start making probably a little adjustments along with Bill and what we see and, and, uh, and he'll get back at it and make a few adjustments and we'll add those uh, to uh, MoDOT's 
plans for uh, what they're planning for on their their uh, sides of both sides of town on, on business 54 so I spoke with MoDOT on their front to see where they're at they've uh, they're a little behind schedule because of some right-of-way and easements that they uh, that they need to acquire so um, they're thinking that uh, that it'll probably be an April of 2018 letting for uh, the entirety of, of the project encompassing their ends of it and then our middle so any questions so our portion of this uh, will not have to be approved by MoDOT. You don't have to put our or submit our plans to MoDOT since it's our project. Yeah, we we have to submit our plans to MoDOT, and uh, uh, MoDOT is working up an agreement. Um, if you get in the weeds of it, uh, because we have money that that's going to be commingled into this project, so the accounting portion of this and and. Uh, I'm just going to look that way for our accounting <laughs> portion, but uh, you know they've 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 got to work at work things out with Kathy to make sure that that uh, they know what money is going to where and uh, uh, there's no miscommunication type of thing. And, so and Kathy will keep them straight. So they need to prove it too. I mean, this goes to them. Yeah, yeah. this okay. goes to them, and, okay. and uh, we've got to we've got to do it in a way that that accommodates uh, their style of the, putting plans out. Of course. Administratively, it'll be kind of like the roundabout. Uh, we'll, we'll, we, MoDOT is in charge of the whole project. We just contribute a portion for our share. The big thing on this is we'll have to front the money uh, before the before the project goes out. So, um, and as you recall, our our 17 overlay money is going towards the Fourth Street project, and our 18 2018 overlay money is then going for the uh, Business 54 project. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, sir. Nice job. Mm -hmm. We'll now move on to new business. Uh, mm -hmm. Full stream team, are you going to do that again, Kyle? Going back up there? <laughs> <laughs> Just don't hold on to uh, it. It must be under your department. Yeah, it's day. It's night. Uh, yes, the uh, Fulton stream team, We I got notified um, over July 4th. Uh, I was off for a couple of days. and. I notified, notified by uh, Courtney Kofeld of our office, who uh, is uh, doing a lot for the Fulton Stream team, and she's kind of got a conservationist heart, uh, anyways, and and has brought uh, it was it was honestly her idea to uh, partner with the Missouri uh, Department of Conservation and their Stream Team program originally, so uh, to help us meet our stormwater uh, permit needs and. Uh, kind of creep needs so um, anyways Courtney Scott and Doreen from my office have, have kind of teamed up uh, to make the stream be the engine of the stream team for us and cool. and uh, due to their hard work and all the different efforts from talking to fifth grade classes to uh, Kiwanis and Rotary Clubs um, to the library uh, I could go on and on with it. We've got dealings with the college and, and their study of uh, Stinson Creek for us and that partnership. Um, we've got uh, right now working with Gala on, on trying to look for grant dollars for oh, potential yeah. scholarship funding for some students to, uh, to help us run these things. So um, anyways, uh, there's, there's various things that, uh, that, that we've pursued and uh, it doesn't really, doesn't cost a lot of money, just takes it does cost us effort, but uh, but that's okay. And anyways, to uh, uh, for their hard work, uh, the the Missouri Department of Conservation and their stream team program have uh, recognized it, and uh, they have an ambassadorship award uh, that they give to I guess shining stars, and and uh, so we're lucky enough to get one of those awards. Are we uh, are we going to send anybody to that? To yes. accept that award and the Solomon? answer is yes okay good you going no <laughs> how about you i have a conflict that day i cannot go but uh, somebody will be there we just have to figure out uh you know who and and the details well as long as we're represented yeah, okay. yeah. would you we say will her be name was courtney hmm? would you say her name was in your office courtney Kofel. would you send her 
Yeah. Pay her mileage, buy her lunch, whatever. We're working out those details right now. She would be, uh, she would be the ideal candidate. That, that sounds good. Is there anything we can do as council members to help this team or anything we can do? Yeah, there's always things uh, uh, that you can do. Um, I've got just, grandkids in it. What else do you want? <laughs> uh, you know, talk when we have events, support those events, uh, talk about them to see people, uh, maybe come to one and see see what it's all about, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, I'll do a better job of kind of letting you know uh, what we got going on. And, and uh, our focus really has been on the kids, kind of the fifth grade classes have kind of been our, our uh, you know, key focus group, they, they've got a good mind for it and they're studying those kind of things in school. So um, anyways, that's that's kind of our, the way we've been attacking it. Any other questions? Um, do you know if the summer school program, did they still do, it was, I don't know, fins and tails or something where they would spend a day down at the creek? Well, I, I do know that last summer um, we spent a day with the fifth grade uh, elementary class um, down at, at Smith Branch and uh, this year that that didn't work out this year but uh, uh, during the normal sc school year we visited uh, uh, both, both uh, McIntyre and Bush elementary schools we, we did not get to Bartley but uh, we got to two, two of the I three. Just, I remember the, the summer school program we used to do something down there. <coughs> Might talk to college for kids sometime too. Yep. We were we we were at the college for kids and, and uh, did two days with college for kids. Actually, um, you know, one of those days, Daryl uh, took a one of the days we spent uh, uh, time at the creek, uh, did a kick net which uh, basically shows them everything that's in the creek from all the little critters to whatnot sure. and uh, talk to them about watersheds and uh, you know all that that entails where, where water goes storm water sewer and that migrated to the next day and, and uh, Daryl and his folks uh, gave a tour of the uh, wastewater treatment plant for wow. those kids so um, I think it I think it went pretty good and, and I know that we will be pursuing this next year Good. So. Did you do that with Stutco as well? Uh, they were there the student week council, I know, did uh, uh, a cleanup with us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all, and all these little things uh, need, need a facilitator, and that's where somebody like Courtney comes in yeah. and the plan. So, so yeah. what side dish are you sending with him to bring for the potluck? <laughs> What's that? Whatever they want. Yeah. That's so just what you need the potluck. Potluck. Uh, well, do you, I would just say if you need some help, you know. I'm okay. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. So Mr. Moore wants to go? Very no, good. I can't go that you day, but I would help with the side, it said you bring the side dishes. So. Fulton Stream <laughs> team is doing uh, great work, and it's yes. really neat that they're being recognized for it. Yes. It is. Uh, I should be. And uh, again, encourage uh, them to continue with what they're doing. Uh, I think they still, uh, Kyle didn't mention, but they did have a program whereby you can build, your, uh, build yourself, or they showed you how to build yourself a rain barrel. And I think they still have access mm -hmm. to some barrels. So if you're interested, uh, you know, contact uh, Kyle and he'll put them in, uh, con put you in contact with the individuals and then they'll follow through with you on it. I know I did one myself. I'm gonna brag here a minute. and. Uh, I've been using that water to uh, water our plants uh, all summer long, and it's it's been a nice nice thing. Uh, I've talked to some of the folks that have that have flowers, etc., and uh, they tell you that uh, if you water your plants with with our water out of the tap, you're and you look at the roots at the end of the year, uh, you, you're going to have chlorine build up on those roots. So. Uh, that's the kind of thing that, that of course, and then, again, it's soft water. So, so much for that plug. But anyway, <laughs> I do appreciate the stream team and all the neat things they're doing. Thank you. Uh, we'll now move on to item B in new business. And uh, for the benefit of those at home, I'll summarize uh, our discussion that we had during the work session. And that has to do with uh, some older hangers that, well, are very aged out at the airport uh, 
that uh, again are very small and outdated. Uh, we're discussing tearing those down and, and offering that area to uh, a carpet uh, individuals who may want to come in and build a, a, a hangar out at the airport. And we're talking about the uh, method again of how to get that done. Uh, at this point, I would accept any motion uh, from the council that uh, as far as demolition on those hangers go. Motion to tear them down. Second. With the 90 day notice. <clears throat> the 90 day notice. Okay. And the tenants going to the top of the list of the waiting list. <coughs> okay, very good. Do you have any monster trucks? So did I have a second? Yes, yeah, second. <laughs> okay, very good. I, thought, I had a I second. Somebody doing that. That's what I thought. Um, okay, I do have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on that motion? No. Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Okay, very good. So we'll work at demolishing those hangers and get that process moving. Uh, along that same item, I might also mention that I've uh, uh, visited with Mr. Uh, Bruce Hackman with the Economic Development uh, Director at the Chamber, and uh, we, he is actively seeking uh, the possibilities uh, from corporate folks in the county and throughout the Midwest that, that might be interested in coming in out there. So. Hopefully that'll be a, a, the first of many that'll go out there. Okay, let's move on uh, to council council concerns. Uh, again, this is a time that you can bring forth any item that you'd like to have discussed or mentioned that we need to discuss in the future. Uh, and uh, we'll take a list of them and, and see what we can do in the future. Uh, so let me begin with you, Mr. Sheverdecker. Do you have anything you have tonight? I'm good tonight. Thank you. Mr. Moore. Well, I wouldn't disappoint you, Mayor. <laughs> uh, I have a couple of things. My first one is, and you can probably answer quick, either you or Mr. Johnson or the Chief of Police or Human Resources, we have a vacancy out there to fill the spot for more help to man the office in the evenings. Yeah. <laughs> what was the question? Uh, there's a vacancy for police receptionist in the evenings. And my concern is, I'm going to say this politely, call and try to get hold of the, just the police department, not emergency. I think our dispatch at 911 doesn't know we exist. I had very difficult communicating with them to try to get it's a, it's a concern that both the police and fire chief have raised. We have had a couple of meetings with uh, Gary Ungerman, the presiding commissioner, who is in charge of the uh, dispatch center, and they are they're working on it. Okay. So, but are we looking at actively looking for an employee or just? I think wait? yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. That's all I want to know. I, I, I What's the salary? How many days a week? I don't know. <laughs> I was just have a concern when I tried calling. I, I just find it amazing to try to get hold to him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I've been there. I know. Yeah, yeah. And my second one is, and I know y'all heard this before, and Les, I can't listen to this. Last night, I, uh, when uh, my last night, I tried to get hold of the police department. department. I couldn't, so I called the fire department. I actually I drove there. It's my West Minnie. And the two officers, the uh, two firemen that was working was very nice. And they <coughs> followed me to a location, and I'm not going to do the address or the street, but I'll let Les know. But Chief Cofelt knows about it. And rental landlords who rent property for more than the house is designed for, this house had four cars in the front yard. The porch is there, the cars were there, and I asked the the officers, if their fire breaks out this house and the other three houses are, I think, built in a day, less than 10 foot apart. I said, well, what do you think would happen here? They said, I think it would be a serious problem. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and I hate to be rude, but we have to tell either landlords or tenants, you cannot use your whole yard for a parking lot. Well, we, we have an ordinance against that, Steve, so you know, if you point that address out, out to us, 
we'll have the police go by and take care of that. All right. There you go. Just give just give me your give Courtney the address after the council meeting. All right. Very good. And Thank that's you. my two concerns of the day. I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> Is that it? I'm, I'm dead. Okay, thank you. Mr. Vaughn. Yes, I have one thing. I'd, I'd like to see the council along with Les and uh, building people have some uh, conversations regarding the little houses that are being built in town. The tiny houses? The tiny houses. Mm -hmm. Very I think good. we need some dialogue on that and locations where they're putting them. Yeah. We can do that. You're, you're talking about zoning? Yes. Uh, issues, etc. cetera. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Anything else there? No, I don't have anything else. Mrs. Gray. Just two little items. I was at the farmer's market Saturday, and the city has that building on 5th and Market. Okay. Hmm. They were wondering, is there any way that they could lease that building for a small amount so they could continually have one spot to have the city market? I don't know if this is anything in there at this time. Or, you know what I'm talking about right there. There's the Chamber of Commerce and there's uh, the Job Center and then there's that building that... It's not ours. Oh, I was thinking we still own that. Are you talking about I the old whiskey wild? Yes. Oh, whiskey wild. Oh, whiskey wild. Okay. Yeah. It's being used. Okay. Okay. Is it being occupied at this time? Yes. Well, the, uh, yeah, Parks and Rec is utilizing that for their okay. program. Well, could we make a notation or something that I can go back and tell them, you know, if it comes up again, <coughs> for them to get in touch with you, you let them know? Because they were really interested in a, some way having that building. Hmm. Okay. Sure. And then there at, I'm going to call it 4th Street, it used to be a beauty shop, and I think it's a part of that uh, bar that's for sale. Mm -hmm. If you go behind there, there's bricks actually falling Michael off of that building. Are we going to do anything with that? Or, cause we've written a letter about that to the owner of the building. The owner of the building is actually deceased. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like the building's going to fall Stay. down the way them bricks are falling off. So. Is that building unoccupied left? Yes, sir. We will continue to attempt to get that solved. Okay. Thank you. That's it. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, can them the farmers, what did you say, farmer's market? The farmer's market would like to have that <coughs> building so they could have one. They say when they do the church parking lot, they're not that exposed and they don't have that much traffic. Oh, I'm but now when they do the, the Saturday event, they do quite well. But they said they have moved their location like three or four times in the last few years. And if they could definitely have one permanent spot, that's what they're getting at. For Wednesdays, right? Mm -hmm. For their Wednesday Eve, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Do they think that downtown's their best location? Mm -hmm. Well, they was just thinking Fifth and Market in back in the horse and buggy days, Market Street, that's what it was. Yeah. Well, know, I was going to say, why don't they ask the, um, what was the convenience store? Casey's used to be, ain't no one going to buy that for that price, so it could be there many years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's say just it that what, way, but. Whenever yeah, I was there course, Saturday, there was like three or four of them that asked me if that building was still available <coughs> and could they use it. And I said, I'd I'll contact ask. the uh, yeah. brick district and through them I'll get with the farmer's market and we'll see if we can discuss some locations for them. Okay. okay. Thank you for bringing that up. Okay. Very good. Let's go. Mr. Stone? I don't have a concern, but I have a thank you to pass on. I had a gas leak at my residence on Friday night, and I had an excellent response by the fire department and by Scott with the gas <coughs> department. Mm. All were very professional, very thorough, and made sure that my family and the neighbors were all at ease. Very good. Excellent service. 
Good to hear. Thank you very much for bringing that forward. Uh, Ms. Reclue. Nothing tonight, thank you. Thank you. Mr. West. Um, I have no, nothing other than I want to say the fire, the, uh, pardon me, the 4th of July <laughs> parade was very uh, well put together. I want to go public with, with that compliment. I think it was very nice and had a good crowd down, down uh, Court Street watching it. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Mr. Shiloh. Yes. I've got a concern about the brick street on 4th Street in front of the City Hall there. It's like riding a mechanical bull down that street. <laughs> I'd like to know if there's anything we can do to straighten that out or fix it. That's your brick. Something to look into. Very good. We'll see if we can't get that included in uh, next year's budget. We'll take a look at it. I'm sure that will be the answer. It's just a matter of money. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else? Okay. If not, we'll move on to ordinances. We have uh, one first reading ordinance. Uh, at uh, Bill number 1476, which is an ordinance that has to do with, uh, uh, well, trash collection and uh, the uh, when to set out your, your uh, trash containers, et cetera, et cetera, at residences. Uh, Councilman Shiverdecker, would you please present Bill number 1476, uh, title only, first reading. Yes, sir. Bill number 1476, an ordinance amending chapter 94, solid waste, article 4, storage collection and disposal, divisions 1, 2, and 3. City Fulton City Code to delete or amend certain sections, enact new sections, and establish an effective date. I make a motion that we advance Bill Number 1476 for a second reading at our next scheduled meeting. Second. Thank you. <coughs> Having a motion and a second to advance Bill Number 1476. Uh, is there any discussion of that motion or of that ordinance? Any questions? I have, I have one question. Is this where we <laughs> talked about get it off of the street within 24 right. hours? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Councilman Stoll? Collection of recyclables, is that addressed in a separate policy or ordinance? I noticed it was not included in this bill and didn't know if it was a separate. Are recycle containers the same as uh, the solid waste? Huh. We did it as that well, no, it says mm -hmm. trash container. Yeah. Where did you think it would work? It, it doesn't speak to recyclables, so I didn't know if we needed it yeah. to address it separately. We will, A. a I, just I, think it's, I think it's a valid question. Okay. Let's go ahead and do first reading tonight, mm -hmm. and we'll look it over and see if, if, if yeah. we need to modify it for the next reading or not. It's a good, it's a valid question. Very good. Good, good guess. Yes, Thank you. you. Yep. <coughs> okay. Also, I have a question. Sure. I read through the, the, the big ordinance, and I was a little confused when I was reading some of it that it, it sounds as if in here we're going to start furnishing containers to commercial buildings like your restaurants. And <coughs> is, is that correct? We oh, already do. Yep. I didn't think we. I didn't think we dump them though. Yeah. Co commercial. Yeah. Yeah. No, but not recycling. We we supply. Yeah, but it does. It doesn't recycling. really say that in here. It sounds as if we're going to do it all. Uh, or that's the way I thought. We we do it all when it comes to trash, but when it comes to the re to the recycling, we do not do commercial. Uh, Richard, another good catch. We'll. I mean. We'll, I, just somebody at that. I, Good point. For some reason or another, I, when I got through reading it, I kind of thought maybe we were taking it. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of co-mingling and then yeah. we don't co-mingle. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Good catch. You to I thought recycled was mentioned. Okay, very somewhere. good. Anything else, Richard? No. Okay. Anyone else have anything? Okay. No. So we're recommending to advance it tonight and then we'll fix it for the next meeting. Maybe it needs fixed. Okay. Uh, 
So if not any further discussion uh, on that, uh, we do have a motion on the floor. All those in favor of the motion, please say by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Okay, very good. 1475 advances. I'm sure we'll Six. have some, uh, excuse me, 1476 advances. Huh? I'm sure we'll have some uh, corrections on the next time, or additions. Very good. Now we'll move on to second reading ordinances, of which we have one. Bill number 1475 has to do with uh, stop signs and yield signs. And uh, Councilman Moore, would you please present 1475 for second Bill, reading, please. Bill number 1475, North Amendment Chapter 110, Traffic and Vehicles, Article 6, Operation Division 7, Stop and Yield Intersection, Section 110-283, Stop Sign and Yield Sign, Fulton City Code, by removing yield sign and acting the stop sign and establish an effective date. <coughs> I move this for third reading at tonight's meeting by title only. Second. second. Thank you. I have a motion and second to advance uh, 1475 to third reading. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Very good. Council Moore, would you please present Bill number 1475 for third reading? Bill number 1475, an ordinance amending chapter 110, traffic of vehicles, article 6, operation division 7, stop and yield intersection section 110 283, stop sign and a yield sign in Fulton City Code by removing the yield sign and acting a stop sign, establishing an effective date. Move this for final passage at tonight's meeting. Second. Very good. We have a motion and a second to advance uh, bill number 1475 for final consideration. Uh, any further discussion? Who's going to decide the effective date? Does that matter? You guys do when you approve the ordinance. Right. right. And when does the we'll, department get to And then we'll <laughs> phase into it slowly over 30 days to maybe give some people a little warning and try to walk into it a little bit. Okay, anything else? All those in favor of advancing uh, 1475, please signify by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, no. Okay, very good, thank mm. you. Bill number 1475 has been presented, read three times. It's now time for final consideration. Uh, please signify yes or no as the <coughs> clerk reads the roll. Okay, Mr. Moore? Yes. Ms. Reclue? Yes. Mr. Shiverdecker? Yes. Mr. Stone? Yes. Mr. Vaughn? Yes. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Shyland? Yes. And Ms. Gray? Yes. Eight council members affirmative. Very good, thank you. That concludes uh, second reading ordinances. Uh, we'll move on to announcements. Madam Clerk, do you need to elaborate on any of that? I don't really think so. Um, our next meeting will be the 25th, and um, I have let you all know final MML reservations have been made. If you have any questions about yours specifically, come see me. Okay. Very good, thank you. I do not have a need for executive session, so we'll consider. Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 We have a motion and second to adjourn. All those in favor say yay. Yay, yay, yay. yay. <laughs>